So in the next solution challenge, Python programming challenge, challenge number five, given a list of students, we have some A to M multi, uh, alphabetized names, loop through the list, generating pairs of random SAT scores for math and verbal for each student. Scores must be in the 200 to 800 range and must end in a zero. In all fairness, we never covered how to do uh, random numbers in Python, but you do have to report the module. So part of the challenge is, can you Google what you need? Like, hey, how do you do a random number? I better Google it. So what you need to do is import the random module, which is what we're doing here to start. And then we're gonna loop the students. So the expected output, it'll be Amy, math, some score, verbal, some score, remember these are random, then Ben and so on. So we're gonna start with a title, just gonna print student SAT scores. And now we're gonna loop the students, loop that list of students. So we'll say for student or S in students, we're gonna say math score is gonna equal random dot rand int. And I have a note here, rand int takes, is called on the random object and takes two arguments, a start and an end, and it will return a random integer in the start end range. So if we say 20 to 80, it'll return us a random integer between 20 and 80. So that satisfies our range for our SAT scores, right? They gotta be in the 200 to 800 range. But we're only doing 20 to 80. Why don't we do 200 to 800? Because then our answer won't end in zero. So 20 to 80, get a 57, a 63, what have you. Multiply that by 10. And now you'll get a 200 to 800 value that ends in a zero. And so the verbal score, same idea, a different random value <clears throat> with the same 20 to 80 times 10. Then we're just going to print the scores. So we'll say print and we'll do string formatting. We'll print the student name. You put the variables in curlies. And following this format, we want to write the word math with a curly space. And then we will print the math score, whatever that is. And then we'll do some kind of spacing, a couple of hyphens or something. I'm putting a pipe here, and after the pipe, we're going to put verbal, and then the verbal score, verb score, variable. Close your print statement, and we're getting an error. Okay, I got to close my variable, and that should do it. Well, uh, actually, we're printing S. It's student. I just abbreviated it to S, and you can abbreviate it more. It could just be math and verb, right? Well, math is, a, is an object in Python. Math score, okay. M score, V score, right? You can make it shorter if you want. Run it and it works. There you go. Math and verbal scores for each student. So we're seeing a range of scores and that takes care of it. We could do a little extra. Let's say we wanted to do the total. Then we would just say maybe total would be math score plus verb score. Or I think they call it combined or something. And you need to end your variable. So there you go, combined, nice score. All righty, that's the solution to number five, very short and sweet. Next up is number six, where we start getting into dictionaries.